day to wear rain boots. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica. I am a third year special education teacher. I teach K through five at my school. So I have students in every single grade and I teach all the grades all by myself. I have two paras that support students basically one-on-one. -on -one, so I'm basically teaching academics to like 16 students. So it's a fun time. This vlog is mostly going to be about Monday and then prepping for the sub I have tomorrow and then whatever I do at the meeting I'm going to tomorrow that I need the sub for unless she cancels in which case this will just continue on as a normal vlog so hello let's go to school we've kind of got a pile over here obviously goldfish a tub full of new stickers so I always bring out the new fancy stickers when we have subs and then goldfish because my classroom runs on goldfish Okay, it's lunchtime now, so I'm eating my lunch. Chicken, fries, beans, like baked cinnamon apple milk, obviously. But usually I eat in the teacher's lounge on Monday if I'm not eating with the school site, but she's not here today. But I'm finishing this. This is what the students are gonna be working on tomorrow. And hopefully after school, I'll have time to update you exactly on how they're gonna do it. Painting done, lunch semi-finished, and posters. We got Corona here, Ebola there, and then... <laughs> And then a group of boys is also doing some sort of virus that infects snails and makes them a zombie or something like that. So my paras are finishing some of my sub plans. Um, like they're cutting out some of the stuff for bingo and they're dividing up the conversation hearts for a math graphing activity. But I'm in by no means ready or prepared for a sub tomorrow. So I will have to come early. I cannot stay late because I have a technology meeting in uh, that starts in eight minutes. That's 20 minutes away. So yeah, we gotta go. So I've totally mentioned or that my school is super far away from all the other schools in our district. So for other schools, this meeting is like five minutes away for them. So even though school is done at like 2.35 and they want the meeting to start at three, that's totally doable for them. But for us out here in the middle of nowhere, it is not doable. So here we are, we're leaving. It is now 2.52, the meeting starts at three. I will be late. But pretty much all meetings I go to, I'm always late and a lot of other people from my school are in the same boat. Wherever we go, we're always late because they always schedule meetings right after school. That is just impossible for us to attend unless we find someone to watch our kids. I've done that before for the IEP meeting, like when I had the parochial student a couple weeks ago, where I left at two and I just told my kids, okay, go back to your classroom teacher, like my sure has a meeting, time to go, yada yada. And luckily it was during like fun Friday. So they didn't really miss any instructional time with me because it was supposed to be fun time in their classrooms anyways, but I usually have checkout time with students at the end of the day so that I miss that. But since today's Monday, it's not fun Friday, I would have missed a lot of math with my second graders. I would have had three kids that are coming in to redeem their money rewards that wouldn't have been able to redeem. So I stayed and it's a technology meeting. We're basically talking about um, like the scope and sequence for technology skills and goals for our district K through five. And then they want to pick a parent communication app, K through fives, so that whatever school you go to in our district, we're all using the same um, parent communication app. So me personally for SPED, I don't use a parent communication app. I text message all my parents. But again, a lot of the students I get come to me in kindergarten and I have them until fifth grade. So I'm perfectly fine with handing out my phone number because I keep these same parents for a long time. We use Seesaw, which our school really likes, and I'm hopeful that the district will want to use that too because I know our teachers won't want to do any of these changes. And I'm familiar with how it works because Seesaw, you can also assign different assignments and such. So I'm gonna go to this meeting and uh, I'll let you guys know what's happening. And since I'm not fully done with my sub plans, I know what's all happening. It's kind of all sort of laid out, but it's not all cut out and it's not all put in a way that the sub can find it. So I'm going to have to come early tomorrow which I kind of expected anyways. And so far the sub hasn't canceled. So if she did cancel and I showed up to school early, I'd be really grumpy. So I'm gonna go to my meeting and be late. I'll catch you guys later. I am absolutely freezing. I forgot my coat at school. Burr! Like coming here, it wasn't that cold. I'm assuming because the sun was out. And it's dark, it is chilly. So in this meeting, we basically as I said, talked about the scope and sequence of technology as is in our district and like what the expectations are. So we were mostly divided into grade levels. I went with second grade and we decided like what students should know coming into second grade, 
what students in second grade learn and then what they absolutely have no business learning like spreadsheets nobody in second grade can use a spreadsheet so through our work on these committees they're going to decide um, like what the standards are for teachers and librarians to be teaching during technology ish times so they'll compile everything that we've put together within our grade levels and they will decide as a district like what the expectations are for um, librarians or teachers to be teaching during like computer educational kind of sort of time which means if you're on coolmath.com, I am not impressed. That is not educational. That is my students today. Ugh, I blocked so many of them. So even though I won't be at school tomorrow, I'm gonna be watching on um, Dino, which is like our blocking site. Because so many of my kids and other kids in fifth grade are on the total wrong websites. And you know what, technology is great. But if you can't use it properly, you're getting blocked. It is 5.30 now, I need to get something to eat. I don't really know what I want, but I also kind of want Starbucks. And since I have to wake up early tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a drink. So I'll probably get the mango dragon fruit with no ice and no berries so that it's literally just like the tea mixture. So then tomorrow I can just put ice in it myself. I think that'll be the plan. And then I'll figure out what I want to eat. And then I will go home and get to school really early tomorrow to finish my subway. Regretting, very much so regretting leaving my coat at school. Bad life choice. But it is a little after six, like 6.04, and I'm headed to school. So I'm basically an hour early. Hopefully that hour will help me get my copies and general area together. I have everything typed up that I want this up to do. A lot of the stuff is in like piles in order of how it's supposed to be, but now I have to actually binder clip, you know, what you do first with the one binder and then what you do second with the second binder clip and then make some copies. Like they're doing a dog writing activity um, that says I rough you and then they write what they rough after they've made the dog. Well, I have the hard copy printed out, but I have to actually make the colored copies for the kids to cut out for the dog. So, you know, little stuff like that. So hopefully I get that done in an hour and if I don't, so the meeting I'm attending today, you have work time in the morning with your team and then we go and have the meeting in the afternoon. So it's not a dire situation or anything. And I'm gonna go to school and I'll catch you guys up later. Just me and the janitor it looks like. So it looks like they didn't finish cutting out the Valentine bingo. And then we got my candy separated, which is important. Now I just have to put this all in order. Like that one has a clip on it and that's number one. So I have to do that with the rest of the stuff. Make copies of the math test right here and deal with this general chaos. I hate when people leave colors in the copy machine, but I don't care enough to change it. So we got reading mastery, LLI, LLI, foundations, Heartcraft, and then the Heartcraft again, another reading mastery, some bingo, writing craft, math, candy graphing. It's a full of fun. Our lunch destination is just on the other side of this deer train. Hopefully it's a short one. Our morning meeting has gone well. I blocked several students that were on sites that they shouldn't have been on. Uh, I don't know why, like, there's so many good things you can do on the internet and they just choose to go find the silliest games or memes to be looking at. Like, it's just totally pointless. Come on, kids. Uh, but once this train goes by, we're gonna go have a little lunch and then we're gonna head downtown to another meeting where our tier one and tier two teams will all work together with other schools in the district. So that shall be fun. At first I thought I wanted French toast, but now I think I want maybe stir fry. Okay, so it's a little after two right now and I'm driving back to school. Our school is done at 2.35 and then we start tutoring. I'm the tutoring coordinator, so I'm in charge of all the kids there basically. So I try to be there as much as possible. So I left my tier two meeting earlier to go back to tutoring. And plus the kindergarten teacher does tutoring with me as well. And she's also at the tier two meeting, but I found another teacher who would sub for her, but still, I don't want to leave everyone hanging and let the kids run wild when I'm the one, you know, in charge of tutoring. So we're coming back to tutoring. The meeting I was at, I mean, I learned a couple things, but nothing absolutely groundbreaking that I couldn't have learned from an email. But also we read an article, but we jigsawed it. So basically the article is like five sections long. 
so each of us were given a section and then we had to make like a song or a game or a poem or a poster or something on it well our group decided we were going to do a rap and we found this rap generator site and oh my god it is absolutely hilarious we did not use that as our evidence of what we had read quick made it an acronym of environment so e for encouraging n for neutral so stuff like that but i will play you the rap because it is hilarious our entire table was crying we were laughing so hard but i'm gonna go do tutoring i don't have my copies printed off but i know i'm using the minecraft fraction book and the unicorn edition subtraction book for my third and my second graders so that's not really a big deal so i'm gonna quickly go to school make my copies and i'll check in with you guys after tutoring Eight kids begin. Straight out the value dungeons of rap. The teacher drops deep as does my systems. I never care. Cause to care is the friend of microsystems. Beyond the walls of expectations, life is defined. I think of supportive environment when I'm in native mind. Hope the pool got some fuel. My tool don't like no dirty rule. Run up to the stool and get the fool. So we're doing like a secret valentine, so... This is mine, and then this is for my para as well, because I know she's going to forget. So yeah, I'm pretty easy to please. Almost walked off with another teacher's flare pen. I have to uh, get this table together and cut out my eagles for eagle nest and actually post up the eagle's nest, because tomorrow we have more eagle-related things to do for our community time. As you can tell, I really like glitter. I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to shake it off and back into the bottle, because we never waste good glitter. And then I'm just going to get everything for tomorrow set up and ready to go. So basically tomorrow, we are going to finish our unicorn hand and our eagle for eagle's nest time. We're basically going to put the eagles on top of the unicorn, so then every kid has a unicorn and an eagle, so it's still the unicorn nest, but it's also the eagle's nest, because that's what this is technically called. But then also, our art teacher made a giant poster of an eagle, and then they cut out the pieces like this so that every single kid in the school would have a piece of this giant eagle to color. And so in Eagle Time this week, that's what the main job is, is to color this piece. Every single kid and the leaders have a piece, and then we'll put it all back together to show that we are all a part of this school look together. But to make ours extra, all these black lines, I'm gonna add glitter too, so my kids can easily find where theirs is. So it's just like lines like this. So you really can't tell it's an eagle until we put it all together. Voila. And then I think I'll add some green to this if nobody puts their eagle there. Considering I left my house at six o'clock and it is uh, still six o'clock now and I'm still here. That's kind of sad, but I am ready to leave. I've got everything to go for tomorrow. It's been hard because I wasn't here Monday after school because I had to rush off to that meeting and then I had a sub today. So my room was kind of just a real big mess because it hasn't been cleaned and I really just had some stuff to get organized and clean and get stuff ready. So tomorrow's Eagle Nest time and I'm ready for it. But I think it is best to just make this a quick two day video. So. Hey, th thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like this video if you like the content and you want to see more. Hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to see my channel and get all those notifications whenever I upload. I upload at least once a week. Um, I'm going to go home. I'll see you guys next time, aka tomorrow. Isn't that cup cool? Me.